we would like to calculate distance to galaxies using the hubble lemaitre law. We're going to take a look at NGC 379. It is the 379th object in the New Galactic Catalog. This object was observed with the Sloan Digital Sky Survey, and so we're looking at this object in visible or optical light. We're given that the radial velocity of this galaxy is positive 5,500 kilometers per second. Because it is positive, we have a redshift. This galaxy is moving away from us at a speed of 5,500 kilometers per second. We want to find A, its redshift parameter Z, and B, its distance in units of megaparsecs. We're given that the equation for Z and V. For Z, the redshift parameter, Z is equal to V, the radial velocity, divided by C, the speed of light, where the speed of light C in this example is going to be 3.00 times 10 to the fifth kilometers per second. As for finding distance in megaparsecs, we're going to use the hubble lemaitre law of V, the recessional velocity, is equal to H0, which is your Hubble constant, times D, distance. In this particular example, we have the Hubble constant assigned as 68 kilometers per second per megaparsec. So let's go ahead and solve. For the first one, we want to solve for the redshift parameter Z, which I've already set up here, is equal to the radial velocity divided by C. We substitute in for the radial velocity. The radial velocity is 5,500. We substitute it in in the numerator, and we're given C, and we substitute that into the denominator. So the numerator is 5,500 kilometers per second. The denominator is 3 times 10 to the fifth. So now let's go to our calculator. We put in 5,500. So you can look on your favorite internet uh, browser to look for a calculator and I just typed calculator in the search window. So we're going to divide that by 3EE5, and we get a value of 0 0.0183. This 3 is less than 5, so we're going to drop it, so it's just the answer of 0 0.0183. So let's transfer that back. So Z is equal to 0 0.0183. 1, 8, 3. Now we have units that drop out. We didn't drop them out, but let's go ahead and do it now in our equation. Kilometers per second drops out with kilometers per second, and so z is actually a unitless number. The redshift parameter z for this particular galaxy is 0 0.0183. As z is less than 1, we can say that this is a nearby galaxy. So I'm just going to write the word near down. Now let's find B. We want to find the distance to the galaxy using the hubble lemaitre law, where V, the radial velocity or the recessional velocity, is equal to H0 times D. And I've already substituted in some of the values. The radial velocity is 5,500 kilometers per second. Our Hubble constant that we're using in this particular example is 68 kilometers per second per megaparsec times d. Now we want to eliminate things on the right-hand side, so we only end up with d. So I'm going to copy everything on the left and the right so we have exact mirrors. We don't like megaparsec in the denominator, so we're going to go ahead and put megaparsec in the numerator. And we don't like 68 in the numerator, so I'm going to put 68 in the denominator. And then all we're going to do is copy the exact same thing over onto the left-hand side with a megaparsec on the top and a 68 on the bottom. Now let's go ahead and divide out what we can. We have a megaparsec in the denominator canceling with a megaparsec in the numerator on the right-hand side. We have 68 in the denominator canceling with a 68 in the numerator on the right-hand side. On the left-hand side, we've got a speed of kilometers per second, 5,500 kilometers per second. So we can drop out the kilometers per second because we have a kilometers per second on the right-hand side. And we are left with going to be left with just units of megaparsecs on the left-hand side. The only thing left on the right-hand side is D, and we have 
one megaparsec multiplied by 5500 divided by 68. So we can just put a megaparsec as our letters and then our numbers are going to be 5500 divided by 68. So we go back to our calculator, put in 5500, we divide it by 68 and we get a value of 80.8. 80.8. Point eight. So let's take a look at our units and our significant digits. We have the correct units, distance is megaparsecs, and notice that we have four in our 5500. If we put a dot zero there, we could have five for 5500.0. Five digits. Over here we have 68. We can put a dot zero, make it 68.0, meaning three digits. Three digits is less than five digits, so our answer should be in three digits, 80.8 and we're going to go ahead and box it. Now even though we are less than one, we're still better off. It's still a nearby galaxy, but not as near as some of the other galaxies. The further we get in redshift distance or in redshift parameter or in look back distance, we get a better accurate distance uh, value to this galaxy. Now the value of 80.8 .8 is still too high because we're using the hubble lemaitre law to find distances to this galaxy. It's still a nearby galaxy. You're better off using a, uh, finding a supernova in the galaxy or you're better off finding a Cepheid variable so you can find the distance using a better technique. But this distance is not that bad. It's generally, I believe, located around 70, 75. So we're still a little high for this particular method, but you get the general idea of how we can use the Hubble Lemaitre law to find distances and redshift parameters if we are given the recessional velocity or the radial velocity.